Hello and welcome to today's Lentil. We've been looking at Psalm 23 over the past couple of days and today we're going to be focusing on verse 6 and it says surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You know such a such a wonderful statement that that David wrote there and, and said to us, um, when we when we think of the, the, this this verse, I think when David penned this, when he said, "Surely your goodness and love will follow me," you know that that word "surely," I think we need to take it into context of how David David's life was, because David had experienced a real outpouring of love and mercy and grace upon his own life like like no other really some of the things that he you know he he done some of the sin that he committed but he had firsthand experienced that love and that grace and that forgiveness of God and you know he come to that realization at the end of his life after experiencing all this that surely God's love and goodness will follow him all the days of our life and when we look at that and into for our own life it doesn't matter you know sometimes we can think well I've done this and I've done that and you know God won't love me and God won't give this to me and God won't forgive me but I think we need to take heart and comfort for how David has told us this this scripture here today surely God will follow us with his goodness and his love all the days of our life how wonderful is that it, does, it doesn't matter what we've done we shouldn't doubt that God will chase after us earnestly pouring out his love and his goodness in our life we sing a song and um, in one of the chorus lines is it, it sings that your goodness is running after me your goodness is running after me and that's how God is with us people friends today that his goodness and love will always chase after us and it's that is a a real comfort for us today and we really should take that into our hearts today and know that really really deep within our in our spirits and souls today and david also went on to say and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever david knew and anticipated that at the end of his life that he would spend heaven and uh, sorry he would spend eternity in heaven with the good shepherd as we've been hearing about over these next over the last couple of days and what a comfort that is for us today that at the end of our life we will spend eternity with the good shepherd we will dwell in the house of the lord forever and no one can take that away from us and David knew this. He knew that within his heart. He anticipated this. And that's why he said that statement. And you know, today, friends, you know, we can take comfort in these verses today. That it doesn't matter what we've done. It doesn't matter if we think we can't forgive this. We shouldn't doubt. Because surely, knowingly, God's goodness and love and mercy will always chase after us no matter what. And we have that surety, that anchor for our souls, that at the end of our life, we will spend eternity in heaven with the good shepherd. Let us take that right into the depths of our soul today. Let that permeate within us today. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.